guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have swatches for you from the Birds of Paradise collection from Color Infinity. This is a five piece collection that will be available April 27th through May 7th. So the prices have changed a little bit. Um, the full size bottles, well they only have one size. Their bottles will be $6.50 individually or if you purchase the full collection they will retail at $6 a piece. So any overpour uh, from this pre-order will be $7 listed on their site. I also have their Nail Party Polish, which is the birthday polish for April to share with you today. And this one does not have a pre-order status. You can order it any time. If you have a birthday in the month of April, you can receive this polish for free if you are signed up for their newsletter. These are 12 milliliter bottles in the description box below. I will link the Color Infinity site as well as their Instagram page and I will link my Instagram page where I will have more swatches of all six polishes today. And let's go ahead and get started. So up first we have Sun Conure and this is described as a Kelly Green Jelly with green shimmer and orange to red to gold UCC flakies. Here's our first coat of Sun Conure. And this is a jelly base, so it is a little bit sheer here on this first coat. It is one of those polishes that you're going to want to build up anyway, so you can see through each layer to the last layer of flakies. This one has a good formula. There's no running or pulling. It's not too thick or too thin. Very easy to work with. Here's our second coat, and this one's building up on two coats, but I am going to go ahead and show you what a third looks like. This one did not stain my nails. These colors can be like hidden stainers, um, but I just wanted to note that this one is not. You do get a good amount of flakies out on your brush without having to do any swirling or dipping or manipulating or anything like that. This one does cover completely in three coats for me. It also dries down a little bit dull, so you will want a nice glossy top coat. It is going to dry slightly textured, but it's not difficult to remove. You will want a nice glossy top coat to finish this one off or a matte top coat to make those flakies stand out. So there's three coats. Up next we have Blue Macaw and this is described as a medium sky blue packed with gold, green, and purple shimmer. Here's our first coat of Blue Macaw. This one also has a nice formula, easy to use, easy to work with, no running or pulling. I did a little bit of a thicker coat there on my ring finger, um, but if you work in thinner coats it's going to be a little bit more sheer than what that shows. I am going to go ahead and build this up today with two coats, but depending on your application, you may end up needing three coats for this. So here's two coats, and again, this one builds up nicely for me in two because I did work in a little bit thicker coats on accident. This one also dries decently glossy on its own, though you will want a nice top coat to keep it on for more than a couple hours. And no staining here with this one either. So there's two coats. Next up we have Chilean Flamingo and this is described as a neon coral with scattered hollow and holographic flakies. Here's our first coat of Chilean Flamingo and this one covers really well here on this first coat. It also has a fantastic formula. It is just slightly sheer so I am going to go ahead and build it up with two coats and you don't need a white base here to get a nice bright neon manicure. I also had no staining with this one, no running or pulling. Here's our second coat, and this one does cover completely for me in two coats. This one also dries down to a matte finish, so if you don't like that, you will want a nice glossy top coat. And those are tiny flakies in there. They are not glitters, so they're not going to dry textured, and they're not going to be difficult to remove. So there's two coats. Up next is Keel Build Toucan, and this is described as a berry jelly with green shimmer and purple colors of UCC flakies. Here's our first coat of Keel Build Toucan. The formula on this is really good. It is a little bit on the thinner side as far as formulas go, but it's not difficult to work with. You just have to kind of work in thinner coats. You get a ton of flakies out with this one without having to do anything special. And again, just very nice and easy to use. It applies nice and evenly as well. So here's two coats, and this is completely opaque in two coats for me, though I can see where you would want a third coat. A third coat is also going to deepen that color just a little bit. This one dries, again, a little bit dull, so you will want a nice glossy top coat. It won't dry textured, and it won't be difficult to remove, so there's two coats. 
And lastly from the collection we have Rainbow Lore Key, and this is described as a white curly base with a rainbow of holographic and matte neon glitter. This also has a scattered hollow shimmer and blue micro flakies. Here's our first coat of Rainbow Lore Key. Again, this one has a great formula, no running, pulling, easy to use, very, very nice. You do get a great amount of glitters and flakies out with, again, no manipulation, no holding the bottle upside down, extra shaking, double dipping, anything like that. Here is our second coat, and this one builds up really nicely for me in two coats, but I am going to go ahead and do a third coat to get that base color as white as possible. You may be okay on two coats here if you do work in thicker coats, but I am working in thinner coats for this one. This is also going to dry down slightly dull, so you will want a nice glossy top coat to finish this off. It is completely opaque here in three coats for me. This one is also going to dry textured, and it is going to be very difficult to remove, so a nice glitter eating top coat here and a peel off base coat if you can remember that before you start applying. So there's three coats. And then for the April birthday polish this month, we have Violet Backed Starling, and this is described as a shimmery medium purple with green to purple to blue UCC flakies. Here's our first coat of Violet Backed Starling. This one is a little bit sheer here on this first coat, but it is going to build up really, really nicely. You do get a sporadic amount of those little tiny flakies. Um, they're not like prominent in this polish, but they are there. This one also has a good formula. It will run though if you work in too thick of a coat. So here's two coats and if you're not super picky, you could get this opaque in two coats. I am going to go ahead and show you what a third coat looks like today. It does deepen the color quite a bit and it makes that holographic I feel stand out a little bit better because that base color is going to be a little bit darker. So it is completely opaque here in three coats for me. This one also dries pretty glossy on its own, though if you want it to last and if you want that shimmer to stand out, you will want a nice glossy top coat anyway. So there is three coats. So my favorites from this include Rainbow Lorkeet. Of course, I love a nice Crelly. This one has a good amount of glitter in it. It has a nice formula. I really, really like this one. And then my other favorite would be Sun Conure. Um, the green, the Crelly, the flakies. I'm predictable, but these are my favorites from this collection. And that is it. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of these polishes. Let me know if you plan on picking any of them up and let me know what your favorite was. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and I will talk to you again next time.